what is going on guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, you read the title correctly, I did crash my car, but look at it there behind me, it looks good as new. If you want to see how I went from this, to this, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned, let's get straight into it. Guys, we've been in an accident. Car doesn't drive, wheels not spinning, lower arm is broken. We gotta get it in the garage and get it fixed, man. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> we got a truck come out, but it's the wrong one. Car doesn't roll forward, and this lorry only brings cars that will roll forward. So I might have to wait for another one. Been here for about an hour and a half so far. How's it going guys? So, so it's been about three hours now. First AA truck has left because obviously they bought the wrong truck. Even though I did mention that the car doesn't roll and they only bought a truck that makes allows you to roll onto it. So that was putting it. So that one's left. It's been about three hours since we made the phone call. We're waiting for a second AA truck. A little bit pissed off, but it is what it is. And before anyone says it, no, I was not crying. I was standing outside in the cold till late. I jumped in the car, my eyes had gone all watery. So no, I was not crying. No more problems, just answers, I guess. So got to get it to work. Got to get it on a ramp and see what's wrong with it. Hopefully it's just a couple of broken parts that we can just change out. And hey, look, I made a video out of it. So that's good news. Um, the guy done a runner, basically what happened is the guy pulled out on me, I swerved and I hit the curb, so the curb basically pushed the wheel in and broke the lower arm and the drive shaft and stuff like that, and the guy, he just, he made his turn and he just went off, so I didn't even get any details, but, um, yeah, it is what it is, man, let's just hope we can get it on the ramp and fix it. And for the guy that pulled out, well, frankly, you're a he didn't even know that I had crashed my car. I swerved right past him and dodged him and he just drove straight. Six hours later. Finally getting it on the lorry. And there we have it guys. It's 4.30 in the morning. There's the Volkswagen showroom. There's my car that's just been dropped off. There's the delivery man, shout out to him. I've got about two hours of sleep and I've got to come in and start fixing this. All right guys, we got it up in the air. I'm a little bit depressed, but that's all right. At least we got it up in the air to see what's wrong with it. We see how badly the alloys are curbed. Probably gonna need the whole set of wheels. The wing. Gonna need a whole new wing. Luckily, no damage to the door, so I don't have to change the door as well. It'll just be the wing. Having a look underneath the car. Lower arm wishbone, completely bent and snapped. New ball joint, now only changing. It was quite rusty under here, so it's backing plates getting any changing. The brake disc. See the brake disc is all broken. That's gonna need changing. The drive shaft. Bent and it's come out. Gonna need a whole new complete drive shaft. Uh, two new track rod ends. As you can see, they're a little bit bent. But 
That'll take the tracking out, so I better change them as well. And on the rear, the rears aren't too bad, but it's a big job. The lower arm's bent. But I've been told that these seize on, so these will have to be cut off, which is quite a big job. And if you change one, you have to change the other, otherwise the tracking will be out. So two new lower arms, even though this one's fine. Yeah, man, it's not pretty. It's not pretty, but it could be worse. All right, guys, it's been a couple of days since the accident. We've got the car stripping in the air, and here's some of the old parts compared to the new part. That's obviously the old one. You can see how badly it's bent and how rusty it is. And there's the new shiny one. Same with the drive shaft. And look at the condition of the brake disc. Fuck. <laughs> In the process of putting it back together, luckily the strut was still in good condition, so that's all right. Put the new drive shaft in, taking the old uh, ball joint out, that's what you saw us trying to drill off. Got a new one to put in, got a new lower arm to put in, and then at least it'll be slightly mobile, and then it's just a few other bits and bobs. Yeah, until next time. And there we have it guys, I didn't get a chance to video it because I was in a rush to do it and this place is now closing as you can see. But we've got the lower arm in, the new ball joint, the new drive shaft, cleaned up a little bit of the grease that was around here. There's still a little bit more as you can see right there. But it's looking good so far. The only thing we have left to do is change this track rod end because as you can see it's a little bit bent and if you change one side you do have to change the other side so both of you changing I put a second hand brake disc on that we had in scrap so it's literally rusty right now but once I get the car driving it will clean up I've got a whole new set of pads and discs going on soon anyway so I'm not too worried about that so it's just two new track rod ends two new rear arms as you can see the rear arms bent So I might just put two new fresh ones on so they're not rusted. This car is quite rusty underneath so I'll put two new fresh ones on most probably. And then I need a new wing. I found a guy selling a wing on eBay. The same guy I actually bought my bumper off. He's selling the wing for £90 and it comes painted so I'll probably buy that. And then some new wheels. And we're back on the road. looking good you're probably wondering why I didn't go for insurance basically I knew the insurance company were gonna write my car off I didn't really want my car written off I still love it and I still want to keep it so I thought why not make a video of it and fix it up myself all right guys it's been a couple of days since the last video what we've done so far we've knocked the two track rods out on both sides so we've got two new track rod ends and track rods going on in that bag over there and on the rear we haven't done anything yet but i have ordered two new lower arms there's another one over there so you've got to get these bolts off and switch it all out let's go all right guys and it's all done so as you can see in total everything i've changed new drive shaft that is a new drop link, but that was from before, so it wasn't from the accident. So new drive shaft, new ball joint, new lower arm, new track rod end, and full track rod on both sides. And that's everything on the front and on the rear. Two new rear arms. 
and obviously new adjusting bolts because we had to cut the old ones off. We had to cut them off from in here because the bolts seize on. Yeah, only thing got left to do is do a wheel alignment. All right, guys, got it on the geo ramp. Moment of truth to see if it all lines up straight. Fingers crossed. Let's get straight into it. All right, guys, the microphone was bugging out a little bit, so I've decided to switch it into selfie mode. That's all the footage I have from me fixing up the car. After carrying out the wheel alignment, the camber on the driver's side was still not adjusted properly, and that's when I realized that the hub was bent. So I went on eBay and bought a whole new hub. It came with the wheel bearing, the backing plate, and the ABS sensor. It was quite cheap on eBay and it was in really good nick. Once I bought the hub on and the new brake pads and disc, all Brembo by the way, everything works fine. And then it was just the wing. I bought a wing off eBay that came painted. It was actually the same guy that I bought my bumper off. If you haven't seen that video, make sure you check out that video as well. I bought the wing on and it looks good as new. I already know I'm going to get a lot of hate for crashing my car, but if you hate on me or you dislike this video, you probably have a small penis or a dead trim, so who's laughing now? I'm just glad I managed to fix my car up myself and it's good as new. I actually bought a couple of mods before I crashed my car, which I haven't yet put on or made a video about yet. So now that I've finally fixed my car, the next video is going to be more mods. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And until then, peace.